We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Yeah, this is Everton Blender. And it's all about the young police from Jamaica. Seeing young police channel. Big up yourself. Everton Blender said that. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Blessed love, Rastafari. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video yeah so anything that you're doing in it all is good to go from the belly or the beast you know say fish come from the bottom of the canal and tell you that shark live down here you have to believe fish because fish live down here so here we, uh, we're going to be talking with a man who's a part of the diaspora along with wilfred rattigan and this man um, will be exposing wilfred's rattigan's tragedy to destabilizing the Jamaican government for personal and political gain. We want you to listen to this, you know. So prepare to un uncover the real motive behind Wilfred Rattigan's protest movement, a calculated strategy to interfere with and destabilize the Jamaican government. What may have, what may have appeared to be mere protest fueled by dissatisfaction within the diaspora is in fact a part of a larger more sinister plan orchestrated by Rattigan is aim to disrupt the stability of Jamaican's government governance for personal and political gain using the diaspora as a vehicle for chaos so in an exclusive revelation you're gonna hear from Herbert Nelson a distinguished voice within the diaspora and cousin to half Dr. Clovis Nelson, who also been a vocal critic of Rattigan statics. Dr. Herbert Nelson will expose the underhanded method Rattigan has employed. Methods that are not only deceitful but dangerous to Jamaica's long-term stability. This isn't about advocating for change or better governance. This is about power manipulation and using the protest as a tool to advance an agenda that serve a selected few while throwing Jamaica's govern government into this, uh, this area. Rattigan's protests have been riddled with controversy from the start but the more disturbing reality is how deliberately these actions are aimed at creating division between the Jamaican diaspora and the government. By stating protests abroad, Rattigan's aim is not simple to hear grievances, but to weaken the government's international standard, making it appear as though there is a widespread dissatisfaction and unrest within the diaspora. In doing so, he undermines Jamaica's credibility on the global stage, driving away potential investors and allies at a time when the nation need collaboration not division so herbert nelson has shed light and all ratigan manipulate others within the diaspora to further his agenda by creating an illusion of mass dissatisfaction ratigan has been able to draw in unsuspecting members of the diaspora convincing them that his cause is illegitimate however as dr nelson points out the real objective is to create instability, forcing the Jamaican government to react to a manufactured crisis. 
rather than focusing on meaningful governance. So it is important to remember that many of these protests have been tied to financial controversy and the PMP criminal organization with allegations of funds being siphoned by organizers like Ratigan. These are not the actions of someone fighting for justice or better governance. They are the action of a man seeking to benefit financially and politically by destabilizing his own country. The Jamaican diaspora deserve better leadership. Leaders who are transparent, accountable and focused on unity, not division. So Mr. Herbert Nelson's insights will bring to light the calculated nature of Ratigan's action by pushing a narrative of unrest. Ratigan's hope to weaken the current Jamaican administration and leave a vacuum of power that he and his political allies can exploit. It's a strategy as old as time. Destabilize, divide, then seize power. But this kind of manipulation has no place in Jamaica's Jamaican diaspora and it's time for people to see through the facade. For the Jamaican diaspora, this is a critical moment. The time has come to reject the manipulation and destabilization effort of individuals like Wilfred Rattigan, Wayne Uglesome and the, and the likes, Baby Trump, Peter Bunting and the others who are all about to seize power in Jamaica through nefarious means. So the diaspora must focus on fostering collaboration with the government, supporting initiatives and improve life for Jamaicans at home and building a future based on trust and unity. So Mr. Nelson, testimony will be an eye-opener revealing the true motives behind Ratigan's protest and the long-term damage they could inflict on Jamaica. The choice is clear. Stand with those who generally seek to strengthen the nation or allow manipulation forces to tear apart from within. It's time to put an end to Ratigan's games and work together for a brighter, more unified Jamaica. So I want to listen to this man, you know, and you're going to hear all of the thing them the corruption were involved in this organization which we didn't know a long time still doing you know, us say the pmp is a criminal organization you're going to hear this as we tell you, you know if fish come from down at the bottom of the canal and tell us a shark down the belief is so you watch you listen and you decide so this, hey i will tell you, you know, over here you know, all you get are the real mama papa truth you know you saw them people they are wicked and them claims to them are jamaican i love jamaican i love jamaica boy may i tell you them dangerous and wicked Hello? Yes, sir. This is this Miss, uh, Mr. Porter? Yes, sir. Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, hey, Herb Nelson. Oh, what are you doing, my brother? How's everything? Uh, it's coming along. It's coming along. Okay. Um, you know, I've got, you know, here on my other phone, I've got um, a couple of people on my team that we've been looking at um our mutual um how can I, I don't know what the hell to call him but what i was looking at and i a level with you and i'm sure you would have it is um something from fine law mm -hmm. um, and it, it is covering uh mr lonesome Right, and there was a sentence of ten years. Not sure how familiar you you are with that. Oh, well, oh, for the drug trafficking in England. For the drug trafficking in England. Yes. So you are familiar with that? Yes, man. I P the, um, so didn't, the PMP has been doing that for years. They have been cleaning um, record of their people who are activists and. Um, and send them, giving them clean police record to migrate to other countries in the world, and he's one yeah. of them. So how how is it that he got out of England and came to the US? They clean up the record then. Yes, that's what they do. Then, he's, he's not the only one. There are several. There are many um, 
um, people in, um, in the United States of America who have uh, American citizenship who so are convicted criminals in Canada and the United Kingdom. And when they deport them to Jamaica, the Jamaican authorities, along with the PMP um, and the other politicians, they, clean, they give them clean police record and got rid of the criminal convictions. So the only way to, the only way to get them reinstated is to um, inform the authority in the countries that they are living in to let them know that these people are convicted criminals and give them the information where they have been convicted. Have you, have you ever sent anything in to the authorities in any of the countries, the U.S. or to Canada? Uh, yes, yes, I have. And I've got results. I mean, did you ever get a response from any of the agencies that you That's only response, they deport the person. Okay. They, depo right. they deported. What, what happened is that um, sent it to the Department of Homeland Security and the Department of... Um, and uh, the Department of Justice and, uh -huh. the, and the Secretary of State, yes, and send the information to them. Yes, that's how, that's how I got it. A, poli a, a man who was a police officer back in Jamaica and he came to right. and he was a police officer here in this United States of America, but he was under a different name. So that's how okay. I, and he was convicted. And they deported him. They yeah. Yes, man, they, they took away his citizenship, convicted him, and deported him back to Jamaica. Okay. Yeah, so once you have so that information, this, you, share, you share it with them. This thing with Wayne, then, it's legit. Because I could not get anybody in, in the UK to tell me for sure if this was him. So you have, right? the, fo you have the photograph or just no, no photograph? No photograph. It's just the um, transcript. Does the transcript have the case? Yes. Uh, which, 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 one of the, which one of the... Um, District it is the case with the bakery. Okay. With Twenty-one. Yeah, uh, twenty out of them, and they all weren't on trial. Uh -huh. Same. Um, you know. Send me, it, send, it, send, me, it, send me, send me, send me the information. I, I, I have family members who are police officers in England. You know. I have two. I have, okay. I have cousins who are. One of them is a detective, and the other one work on the motor rail. Okay. So you, what? You, uh, okay. You, do you use proton mail? No, I, do, I, I just use Gmail. I use Gmail or oh. uh, my government. Uh, well, I just use my government thing. That's a government business because I work with Uncle Sam. So I keep okay. my thing there. You understand? So, yeah. Right. Yes. Uh, any well, attached Gmail, I can tell you, is zipped up um, just like Signal. Mm -hmm. And uh, Elon Musk used both Gmail. I'm sorry. He uses proton mail and he uses signal. Yeah, that, uh, that's, okay. that, that's that's a people who have things to write. I have nothing to write. Okay, I, you I, understand I, what I'm saying? They, they, yeah, okay. let, let me tell you something. And what most people do not understand, you see, all of these things that um, that you think that you're hiding, nine out of ten times the government is behind it. You know, that's mm. how the government used to trap criminals. It's just mm. like how people using. They have the, 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 the legitimate number and then they will register the number to use another number to call other people. But it, it, because they think that they're hiding it. They're hiding the number from, from you know, legitimate people. But the people who they think that they're hiding from the government having their information. Because the government is knowing that you're a criminal, that's why you're hiding. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, or, you think, or you think the federal government is able to always infiltrate all of these groups in these dark web, web um, social media platforms. It's the same here because they are the one that set it up. And they know that criminal, if you're a criminal minded person, you're going to jump on it because you feel like you're hiding. And that's mm -hmm. all it is. And, and then people say, oh, it's entrapment. It's not entrapment. If you're a criminal, you're going to gravitate to these things. Yeah. You understand? Well, if you, you have you're right. If you're you have, absolutely right. Yes. Because we know, mm -hmm. even when they're going after the guy, Telegraph, now, this guy knows how many cartel members and how many other people that uses this platform this tele telegram right but but he don't want to let certain governments in so now they they turn in the screws on him right mm -hmm. and and you know I, I worked in the intel community for 16 years so i know we're, a we're, lot we're, of what we're working in why we're we're I was I, I was at CIA for sixteen years. You were you were a CIA agent there. 
I was not. I was a analyst. You're an analyst, so you're a contractor. A contractor, global analyst. So what? So so what, so what? So what about? So what about your contacts that there? If you if you you used to work, you you used to work with them and them thing there. Um, yeah, well, you, you're well supposed the to thing see, you're with so, those guys, mm-hmm. you know, if I need something answered, I ask and they tell me. Yes, yeah, so that's right? why. That, that's Most why. Most the time, uh-huh. I can figure out a lot of stuff on my own. Right, but that's why. That's yeah. why you could have done that uh, even with um, with ugly some kids. Yeah. You understand? Make one of one of um, someone who work in the, that um, the agency because there's certain there there's so many things that they have at, at their fingertip that they can touch and access things globally yeah well i have a situation here where mr ratigan wants to threaten my existence what 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 do you want to do threaten your existence out well he's supporting lonesome and of course he wants to write letters to my former uh, place of business telling them i am letting out their their secrets but it's ridiculous because most of the stuff that we discuss is pertaining to him. him to him right again? Yes. Yes. Oh, are you talking about the time when he was in the FBI and what happened in Saudi Arabia with him and the Bush them? Right, right, right. But that's still, that, that's that's the reason why you have to understand, you know. Um, I don't... All right, but for somebody that, that's you, all right. You, you're, you, where in Jamaica are you from? I'm, I'm from uh, Kingston area, Barbican Road. Okay, all right. So you're from, so I I, 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 don't really follow up you guys and all of these things, you know. But I was born and raised in a PMP community, and I know them operate. So mm-hmm. I don't know how for someone who are who's this, in, who, who, you know, who's of a certain intellect, you get yourself involved with these people. Anything that you're doing on behalf of Jamaica, you should be doing it by yourself. You should know that the PMP is a, is not a political party; it's a criminal organization. I have ex, I have experienced it for myself, born and raised in Jonestown. It's only two of us that's left. So you know, I don't understand how, for you as a person of that intellect, get yourself wrap wrap up with these people. You have to understand what they were do, what they are doing. They are not doing anything for Jamaica. They're doing it for themselves. It's a hustle. As for me, I'm not in this thing for any hustle. I'm in it for because I want to save the next generation and the other generation after that. I am not in this thing for myself. Well, we have the same aims because at this point, um, I made it very plain mm-hmm. that I cannot swing to either side. I have got to maintain independence and I've got to maintain um, a sterile opinion. Okay. So when I write, and that's what an analyst is, we analyze facts. Yeah, we but, look but, at the facts. Yeah, but in the same breath as an analyst, still, you know, um, we we know we know that um, you have to you have to, you as much as you're claiming that you're neutral, you know that your writing and your delivery is not going to be neutral. It's going to tip it in a certain direction. That's how it is. Or if if not, they would not have anything to do with you. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, it, you know, it, you have limitations, though, you know. No matter how much you write, so 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 what so what so what, ca- so what causes the so what causes the fallout with you and these guys with you you and these people? Because they everything that they want to publish, everything that they want to say, is slanted for the the PNP, and so I had to go over to Canada myself and interview Lonesome. Mm-hmm. And I told him the truth about how I observed the happenings when he was putting on the the so-called protest that night. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, look, you can't put on an event on behalf of the call to action movement. You start the event three and a half hours late. I said, when we have an event, we're there half hour before the start. Mm -hmm. And then you show up we had no agenda. You have um, uh, people waiting and leaving, and we are appealing to people, you know, stay put so we can, you know, have a conversation. And then when we work hard to bring off the event 
and make it a success. You out there and you charging people from the U.S. So twenty-five dollar Canadian meal, you are charging them twenty-five U.S. dollars. And people know that they're getting uh, ripped off. I said all of these things give you. You might not think it's a big deal, but it does give us a bad impression. People mm -hmm. have a bad impression of us that we are in the rip-off business, mm -hmm. right? And so I laid out a lot of things to him at his house. He called me back because he wanted me to push out the lady I put in charge of the um, Global Jamaica Diaspora Association, it has to be called in Canada. Yeah, but 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 but, but that organization is not a new, it's, it's a PMP affiliated organization. Asami, you know, I'm not, yeah. Asami, I'm not being... No, you know, the guy in charge of it right now is Terry Long at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Mm -hmm. Right? And so we said, you can't have government running the Global Jamaica Diaspora Council or Association. So we what, what, took what, what, it You're talking, that's the one that, uh, what the guy, the, the, a black guy, what, what's his name? His last name is Nelson or something like that. Yes. Yes. That, yeah, but right. that's, that, that's about is is he a part of the Jamaican government, Nelson? The 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 association was being run by the Jamaican government. No, but uh, I, no, no. I am asking if the person who's in charge, the man named Nelson, is he a part no, of the no, Jamaican? No, no, no. So how, I, I, so how is the government? How is the government? How is the government in charge when there's a man named Nelson that's in charge, a black man that's from somewhere in Clar Clarendon? Oh, you talking about Clovis? Yes. Clovis. Yes. yes. What? What's his yeah. name? Clovis. What? Clovis Nelson. Doctor yes. Clovis. Yes. Him, so oh, him live right down there in Florida with you. Yeah. So oh, so oh, oh, if he's in charge, oh, is the government because the government not in charge, brother. That's what I'm trying to tell so, you. Okay. So what you're saying, he's a figurehead then? He's a figurehead. So, yes. Okay. All right. So if if he's if he's if he's in fact a figurehead. This organization, oh, oh um, the, I'm not talking about you, um, the ones that you guys were trying to um, to become the face of the diaspora. The the, the, the one that Nelson is in charge of, um, Clovis Nelson. How many years yeah. have existed before? How many years they have been in existence for? It's been it's been around quite a while. No, I'm but, a, it but, was, but, but you. It what, was what, called what, something else. No, but you, before it was it was the diaspora council no but but it's um from based on what i have seen and read in the papers um even about with dr rupert francis it's it was you people that started to create some form of confusion by creating your own and yeah because we didn't want to follow no government with a pnp or jlp we didn't want to follow no, no but, but 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 the council but the um dr clovis nelson is not uh he's not a, a jlp activist i never align himself to it i, I knew I, I can tell you this uh uh um and and you and you one of the uh, when i say new, i know one of the person per um you are very well because we grew up together i cannot i cannot tell you about her political affiliation or anything like that uh, well, um, although I haven't seen her in like maybe, wow, let me see. Her. The last time I seen her was in 1996. Here what, in Brown. What was um, her father, her, her grandfather was assistant commissioner of police, Mr. Light Service, um, granddaughter. She's one of them who's, um, she's What's a part. What's his last name? Her, she's married, no man. Her last name is Service. She's, she's one of the persons, um, who. Right, right here in Broward County, that organized several things to do with the diaspora. Even that the, the, the thing that um, that um, the boo Juliet Olness, she was the one that um, she's one of the organizers. But she's kind of the low, she's low profile, and I don't know her as any political act. And the thing, the thing is that um, with the, the with the organization that um, with Rupert Francis that they were starting, it was seen. Not it 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 was seen as a as a political act, um, action um, group. It wasn't seen anything indirect uh, defending the people in the diaspora, because everything. Because look here, 
Nobody cannot tell me nothing about the PMP. You know. I born, born, raised in a PMP family, PMP home, everything. The reason why my thinking is totally different from most people because reading, I read and I can think and I have seen everything. And to me, the PMP is the worst thing that ever happened to Jamaica. Michael Mann, 1972. Nobody can <coughs> tell me. No one can tell me about no Brigadista program or nothing. I can go in depth. The number one Brigadista, the person who come out number one in the Brigadista pro program, out of the 2,500, I can tell it. That is my cousin. So un, nobody can tell me not about That's why I say any time, you know, anyone I want to a PMP you know, can come talk to, with me. You understand? When you talk about the ball of work and this and that and get money and pump voters, this can't look anyone I want to can talk to me. The PMP is not a political party, it's a criminal organization, and their job is to destroy the minds of the poor. I am here. My job is to protect my people. I'm going to away from, from my age group left from Jonestown you know, to myself and I guy that name Orius Diner Brown that used to play for Arnett Gardens. We are mm -hmm. on everyone else dead from gunshot. You understand? Because of the, the philosophy and the culture that they, that, that they implanted in the people's mind. I have no respect for men like Ratigan because he come from a house. He used to live in a garrison. I have never heard him say to denounce violence to the youth. Them tell him to read, tell him to stop, um, pick up gun and kill each other. Um, all I have seen him doing is propagate things to the PMP and all kind of all kind of um, nuances. I don't into that. I mean about saving life and change the culture of the people. And another thing to um, why I have no respect for men like them. Oh, you have a guy. All right. Oh, you have a man who born and born in a Britain, and yet still you people claim that you don't defend Jamaica. And no, 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 come out and say him for showing British birth certificate. Mark Golden, Mark Golden, um, is not a Jamaican, you know. Is Britain? He, he was, he's born, he's as a British yeah, citizen he, by yeah, birth. Well, so is um the other one that the Prime Minister hurrying up and pushing now. Uh, well, uh, well, uh, why, you, you, why you say Andrew Wallace is not a Jamaican? No, 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 no. I said the one that him is now. Pushing to run in the place of um, that St. Thomas seat, the woman will quit. Um, but the, the, his father is in it, Samuda. Matthew Samuda, born yes, but it, yes, but in, Matthew Samuda renounced in British citizenship. He renounced his, him do it publicly, renounced it, and renounced him in British citizenship. Mark Golden, um, Mark Golden haven't done it. Him say, I do it, but I do it. I'm for renounce something. I'm for renounce it when he's not a Jamaican. He have no connection to Jamaica, and none of you people don't stand up for Jamaica. That's why I said you people are all you. To me, you know, I say all of you people are straighters to Jamaica. I love Jamaica. I was born and raised in Jamaica. I am a Jamaican by birth. I have a Jamaican birth certificate. All you people claim to you, you guys love Jamaica and you're not defending Jamaica. And this man, because this man is a white man and because of money, people who are willing to sell out Jamaica, man, for, for PMP. We don't love Jamaica, well, man. Uh, that I can tell you this. I left Jamaica at age 19. Yeah, okay. So, oh, so how oh, 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 old, oh, oh, old are you now? I'm now 72. You're 72. So you left Jamaica at 19, 53 years ago. That's a, yeah. that, When you left Jamaica, them telling me a baby. Me not even start talk. And you allow a man will live, will not come from Jamaica for manipulate, you know, I will not say, boy, this man, so we clear our. Uh, the PMP you know, is all about say boy my my father born here, my mother born here, my grandmother born here. And this man have no ties to Jamaica and no 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 come out all because of money. You um Rupert Francis that, that are the man who them say uh, he was labor right. Now me see um Ratigan and make charges against him say um him involving a Green Bay killing, in which him not have anything to do with Green Bay killing. The people them are involved in a Green Bay, he not have nothing to do with Rupert Francis. You understand? But that's a mm -hmm. it go on them thing now when people don't have no conviction in anything them have. When people don't have no conviction in anything that they're they're involved in, you know. They have anything go for them, you know, because money, money is their ultimate. If you are a patriot, you're going to defend Jamaica. You understand? And that is what I am all about. I am all about to defend the people of Jamaica, not the political party. As I said before and I say again, you know, one political okay, one. Of, let me ask you this. Yes. How many people do you know? Mm -hmm. From the military intelligence unit, I I know, I know I know a few of them. I have one of them right at my fingertips. Someone who was embedded in a Tivoli Gardens when time you have um, the incursion, yeah. and I have an, I have I have like five of them at my fingertips. 
I even spoken to a man who was in um, who have intimate information about even the Green Bay killing. I have spoken mm. to him. So when I said to you that my dad was 28, 28 years in JDF, mm-hmm. and I know of three people, mm-hmm. four people, let me put it that way, who were in the MIU that told me exactly who was out there who he sent out there as a matter of fact who Rupert Francis sent out there no Rupert by his own mouth mm-hmm. right he is the one who spoke about it so he was involved in, he says that he was involved in Green Bay, Green Bay killing well I he didn't say he was involved in it he said he participated in a certain way and it makes sense because if in what, no 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 in, in, in what in what way in what way he claims that he participated in it with some of the armor truck the um his two brother-in-laws the robinson major robinson mm-hmm. both of them remember rupert is married to the chief of defense staff daughter mm-hmm. and stan robinson and his two sons led led the um the teams out there at green bay you know that right mm-hmm. okay and so when rupert had made that claim i had to call the head of the miu who had sent another captain out there from miu another captain that i know right so it's not like you know we it, I figure he might have been, uh, what can you say, em- embellishing stuff. So well, you know, you know, you know, people will do that all the time to make themselves put themselves okay, somewhere they, they don't they even belong. I and I can tell you that too. Look here. All right, I'm gonna tell you this. I, I, I <laughs> all right. Um, one day I was at the um, RGD. As we said to you before, you, know, you see at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. This is not an entertainment channel. You know. um, this is a people who are thinkers and who can think critically for themselves um this video is over the conversation is over for us and um so we have to be mindful and think about uh, especially our elderly you know they, they are the one that was responsible for the growth of this channel and um yes and we are saying to others um you know those of you who want to see or hear this video in its entirety all you have to do is just go to the patreon just um subscribe to patreon and you'll be able to access it in its entirety yes and you will hear the you will hear everything if you are a person who loves jamaica you are going to glue to this to hear to hear this coming from the arse's mouth you understand it's not like this is not a made-up thing this is someone who is telling you who's as we tell you say if the fish coming from the canal and tell you that shark is down there you have to believe the fish so this is going to be a nine-part series. Yes, so this is part one of a nine-part series. So we are thrilled to bring in you this first part of an exciting new video series. Due to time constraint, we have broken down today's video into multiple segments to ensure you get the most out of each part. If you are eager to watch the full video and gain access to exclusive content, we encourage you to subscribe and support us on Patreon. Click the link in the description box to join our Patreon squad. Please note that the full video access is a privilege reserved for our Patreon members. As maintaining our sites requires ongoing support and we have added to limit free access due to high volume of users of over 3,000 free users. So if, if we just translate the free users them to you know, paid users, that would be you know, plus to the Jamaica Young Police Channel because as we tell you, it costs less than a cup of coffee in America. And we have America is the second highest um, audience members that we have on the channel. Yes, um, the majority of the people are the Jamaican people back home. Yes, and we make sure that um, we have done everything to make sure that them they access the information. Um, so we want to express our deepest gratitude to our Patreon members 
um, your support is the backbone of the Jamaican Young Police Channel squad, enabling us to continue producing the content you love. We are proud to say our squad included members from around the globe, England, United States of America, three Jamaica, four Canada, five New Zealand, six Cayman Islands, seven Trinidad and Tobago, eight Sweden, nine Spain, 10 Germany, 11 Nigeria, 12 South Africa, 13 Italy, 14 Russia, 15 Mexico, 16 Barbados, 17 Turks and Caicos, 18 Antigua, 19 Uzbekistan, 20 Bahamas. Your contributions are vital and we cannot thank you enough for your ongoing support. In today's data-driven world, your feedback is invaluable to us here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. The Compass guides us as we strive to create content that meets your needs and preferences. So we have heard your thoughts about the length of our videos and we are making changes to better suit your busy life. We are committed to keep our non-live video under 40 minutes. This will make our content more accessible and enjoyable, ensuring that you can easily engage with and appreciate what we produce here at the Jamaica Young Police Channel. So some people say, uh, so why join the Jamaica Young Police Channel Patreon community? So joining our Patreon community isn't just about supporting us. It's about becoming a part of a dedicated group that enjoy exclusive content and special perks. So we are committed to offering significant value and exclusivity to our most loyal supporters. Each video will now conclude with a clear call to action inviting more of you to join our patreon family and take full advantage of everything we offer your role in our success we take great pride in responding to your feedback and proactively implementing solutions that cater to your preference your input is crucial to building a supportive community around our channel it drives us to improve continuously and we are committed to using your feedback to guide our future content. Together, we will continue to produce excellent work and deepen our connections with you. We appreciate your support. So thank you for being an integral part of our journey. Whether you are watching our video, giving thumbs up, sharing, supporting us on Patreon or providing valuable feedback, your contribution is deeply appreciated. Together, we will continue to grow, evolve and achieve great things. So we look forward to doing so with you by our side. Well, we can tell us that this video, it's really heartbreaking to see a Jamaican in America a try to destabilize Willow Island that has just come back after. Um, as we say, one of the party them is just a little better than the other. So I like to say, we are the Labour Party is superior to the PMP. It's just a little better right now. We don't know Edward Siaga. As we say it already and we not we say it without any apology. Yes, because as we tell you already, the Prime Minister is Michael Mine 2.0 you know. But man, what the PMP criminal organization has been planning for Jamaica and the Jamaican people is evil. So we know so it goldfish them now go watch this car. This are more than 15 seconds. So this is part one of our nine-part series. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.